I really found it extremely difficult to understand the use of entitlements and milestones in Salesforce. Hence, in this video, I am going to simplify the concept of entitlement and milestone with the real world example while doing hands on demonstration. So, let's consider a hypothetical scenario where you are a prime member of Amazon. And when you make a request to return any of the product, pick up of the old product and delivery of the new product is done within one day itself. On the other hand, if you are not a prime member of Amazon, the pickup and the delivery of your return request might differ and it surely would not be on the same day itself. And the reason for this is because when you buy a prime membership from the Amazon, you enter into a service level agreement which assures faster customer services. Whereas when you are not a prime member, there is no such service level agreement within you and Amazon. As Salesforce is a CRM, it needs to have a way to maintain this service level agreement. And that's where the use of entitlement and milestones comes into the picture. Entitlements and milestones are basically used to create and maintain such service level agreement for smooth functioning. So let's use same example and create an entitlement process within our Salesforce org itself. Now before using the entitlement process, make sure that the entitlement process for your org has been enabled. So you can do it by going to entitlement settings and checking whether it is enabled or not. Once that is done, let's go and create an entitlement process. So I'm going to create an entitlement process for case object and the reason for this is because we're going to do whole management within case itself. So whenever any customer is going to come and he's going to raise a request for the return of the product. So we are going to capture that within the case and within the case itself, what I've done is I've created one field called as is prime member. So you can see there's a field called as is prime member. So if a case is created with this checkbox as checked, this means the return is for a prime member. And if this case is not checked, this means that if checkbox, if this checkbox is not checked, this means this case is been raised for the person who, ha who is not a prime member. So let's go and create an entitlement process. I'm going to name this entitlement process as a return and deliver. And our case is going to enter to the entitlement process whenever the case has been created. You can also keep it as a any kind of custom date. So let's keep it as when a case has been opened. And automatically this case, our case is going to get out of this entitlement process. It will exit the entitlement process whenever the case has been closed. You can also change it or move it to a custom criteria. So right now I'm keeping it as when the case is closed. Now, once our entitlement process has been created, next our goal is to go ahead and create a milestone. Now, before creating a milestone, I have created milestone templates. So first of all, I have created two milestone. First is for the prime member and second one was for the standard user or standard customer. So prime member. I have kept it as a recurrence type as no recurrence. There are three types of the recurrences, no recurrences, independent and sequential. So no recurrences means whenever the criteria is met or as soon as the criteria is met, the milestone will start, but only once. On the other hand, if it's independent, this means whenever the criteria will be met, okay, that time the milestone will get started. On the other hand, sequential means every time the criteria will meet, the milestone will get started. So right now I'm keeping it as no recurrence. So I've created one for prime member and one for the standard customer user. Okay. So let's go and create a new milestone and I'm going to create first milestone for our prime member. And I'm going to keep the order as one. And our condition is that if the case prime member checkbox is checked, like we are going to create a case and it's prime member checkbox has been checked. This means the entitlement should run for the prime member and for the prime member, the overall scenario should be solved within one day itself. And in minute, it would be 
1440 okay this would be one, one minute or one day itself so basically there will be a clock running which will basically run for one day itself which will be demonstrating that this case should be resolved within one day itself so let's go and click on save so we have successfully created a milestone for the prime member let's create the milestone for the standard customer user as well where i'm not going to add any criteria so if a case is created without any criteria or let's say we keep it as if the prime member checkbox is false so if someone unchecks this checkbox in that case is it will move to a standard customer which will be 4320 and in days it would be most probably 3 days so if a case is raised with that particular primary checkbox uh, prime member checkbox as check in that case the overall clock will run for only one day this means the case has to be resolved within one day on the other hand if it's a standard customer he, he has not bought the prime membership and hence the checkbox is unchecked and that's the reason why the clock for him will run, will run for three days now once this is done let's go ahead and create a entitlement record so this entitlement record will be used to tag the entitlement process with the case record which will be acting as a junction object between them so let's name it as return and deliver record or product i'm going to give any random account for now let's give it as ajio and next i'm going to select the entitlement process so our entitlement process was return and deliver okay i'm going to give the end date as well something and let's click on save so as you can see right now this entitlement process is active so let's go ahead and create a case so i'll create a case and what i'll do is i'll create this case for our prime member okay he has asked for some return and we are going to check this checkbox for a prime member and we are going to tag the entitlement record as well that is return and deliver product so as i already told you this entitlement object will be acting this entitlement object will be acting as a junction object between entitlement process and the case so and we are tagging this entitlement and automatically the entitlement process will also get tagged so right now i am selecting is prime member this means the case has been created for the prime member and if i click on save as you can see the milestone has been automatically created for me which is running for one day itself which shows that this case has to be resolved or this case has to be closed within one day itself on the other hand if i'm going to create a case without this checkbox as checked in that case the milestone is going to run for 3 days demonstrating that this case has been created for a standard customer so this was all i had to explain about the milestones if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel